Hi everyone, this is Brad from BoardGameGeek. I'm here with Jeff, uh, the owner of Greenbrier Games. Uh, and we're going to take a look at Heavy Steam, which is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how the game works? Sure. I'll make sure it picks you up. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, so this is Heavy Steam. Uh, the game is about uh, giant mechanized uh, uh, robots. Uh, inside of those robots, we actually have little guys running around and controlling it. It's in a steampunk universe. The focus of the game is not so much uh, on the battle board and the miniatures, but the actual player board, where you control the steam moving through the, uh, the Titan in order to power up either its weapons or down in the legs in order to move on the battlefield. You have to make just tough choices because every turn you can only move cubes down one slot. Thus you need to choose wisely um, whether or not you power down say your Magna Coil Blunderbuss or take the other route to power your uh, Gatling gun or say move energy down into your legs in order to uh, move more on the battlefield. Once you do spend the energy, the cubes go up into your boiler pressure to show that... Good? So once you do spend the energy, they go up into your boiler pressure. The mic's, the mic's pretty good. It, you can keep going. We, I can definitely hear you. So. Oh, oh, oh I got it, got it. So it moves up into your boiler pressure. Uh, from there, you can see the blue dice represents your defense dice. You know, the more things you do, the hotter you get, the slower you get, and it's going to affect how the game plays. Uh, when you fire off a weapon, it's pretty easy. You look down here, it tells you, hey, I'm at, if I'm at a range of, you know, one to two on the battle board, I'm going to get to roll four dice. And the guy on the other side, he'll get to roll some blue dice. Looking at the dice, you can see it's a pretty straightforward mechanic, a little bit similar to... Um, there's a X-Wing game uh, where uh, the blue guy rolls his dice, the red for the attack. You compare the icons. Whoever has the most icons wins the roll, the tie going to the defender. Once an uh, attack is successful, you get to roll to see where you hit the person on the, on the board. You roll a die, uh, there's a nice little chart on the other side of the board over there that tells you where you hit the person. Could be the left arm, could be the head, could be the torso. When you collect damage, the cool thing about uh, Heavy Steam is you actually place more cubes, black cubes. And these cubes can actually get uh, placed in strategic locations by the attacker. Um, to actually clog up your weapons or actually blow off your arm. You notice once I added two cubes here, there's only two other spots I can move energy down into. One of them has to be a uh, red and the other is a normal one. When you pour steam into a red location, it means you're overheating. You actually have to add an extra cube up here to your boiler pressure because you're trying to force energy into a pipe that is now expanding. So the game is relatively simple from the beginning. Uh, there are six different phases from moving by just you know spending energy uh, up into your boiler pressure uh, to the combat, firing your weapons like I mentioned earlier, uh, to routing your steam in your uh, Titan to uh, power up different subsystems, to acquiring battle cards which change up the game, everything from bringing infantry into, into the battle to focus firing on a mech actually targeting a specific location to uh, event cards. Uh, the game is uh, fully customizable with uh, different weapon cards you can load out on your Titan, uh, keeping it uh, unique uh, when you play, uh, very uh, competitive as well uh, to uh, the different uh, battle cards that come out during the game. Cool. That's quite a bit, but it sounds really awesome. Um, so I know you have other units on the board. They, do they control a little differently than the major mech unit? Yep. So let me tell you a little bit about the components that come with the game. Uh, we have, of course, you know, 300 cubes, which would be used for the four different player boards you only see on the t two on the table here. Uh, we also have uh, all of the miniatures. There are 28 miniatures that come with the game. What you see here are actually 3D prints from a 10-year-old 3D printer. Uh, they mostly just show your scale. Uh, there are everything from the light titans, uh, which are faster, more agile, and then you have the heavy titans, which you can see this guy here, he actually has uh, steam, <laughs> steam engine treads on the bottom there. So, uh, so and there are also uh, mobile cannons and infantry units that both come with the game. Very cool. So it's on Kickstarter right now, people can pick it up today. Um, how long does that Kickstarter run for? 
I believe the Kickstarter is running for about another 30 days. Uh, you can get in on the Kickstarter for as low as 30 for just the miniatures, or you can pick up the game for 75, which is 15 off of uh, the retail price. Cool. Well, thank you so much. We'll have to check it out on Kickstarter. Thanks.